the insecurity in the country, uh, what I know is as a result of, um, first of all, the leaders and the government not being able to meet up with their responsibility. And then secondly, the impact of their inability to meet up on the citizens. So the citizens react to leave by trying to be, uh, to rob, to kidnap and other stuff. So as a result of that, if the government can actually put themselves together and provide jobs and, and increase salaries because things are on the high and there are no salaries being increased to meet up with the standard of, li of living. So same thing will happen. I think this is coming out as a result of uh, what the politicians have taken their time to uh, sow. Because by the time you use some group of youths, give them money, give them arms to go and fight for you to win your election, after the election what happened? You know, you cannot be able to retrieve the arms from them, you cannot be able to retrieve the, the ammunition from them. And by the time they don't have any other thing to do, they have to apply what you have taught them to do. So I think the best thing to do is we should be sincere. If I'm contesting for election, I should know my capability. If I know I will not go there and win, I don't need to come and engage youth to go and carry arms and tomorrow they will become a nuisance to the society. If the, the politicians and way meaning Nigeria can come together and look at this thing holistically, I'm telling you the issue of insecurity will die a natural death. Apart from that, the issue of courtesy. Most of our big men here and there, they are involved in courtesy. So what do you expect? Go to secondary school, go to universities, go to primary school. Today we have courtesy. And courtesy is one of those means that groom up the young ones in such a way that anything, anything that has to do with social vices, they easily pick on it. So they are like uh, agents to this uh, kidnapping and so on. So if we are able to work on it very well, it will, it will reduce the rate of courtesy, it will reduce the rate of uh, uh, kidnapping and all of that. Yeah, first of all, the uh, people in power should be sincere with themselves. The security agencies should be also sincere with themselves. Just like somebody mentioned some few minutes ago, people will come on board and tell you this is what you should do with this kidnapper, this is what you should do with the banditry, and you keep quiet. Instead of inviting this person to tell you how much you know about these people he's talking about, before you represent somebody, you must know about the person very well. So they should be able, they should be sincere to this country and not to individuals. By the time we are sincere and putting the best for the interests of this country, we'll be able to make a lot of progress. There is, if you can ask me confidently, I will tell you that there is no insecurity in the land. These are stresses of issue that most of the time they say, oh, you don't need to talk about it, you need to have facts and talk about it. We are talking of insecurity in the land. What are we calling insecurity? Is it not the bandits? We have the bandits and we have persons here in the country who visit the bandits, talk to them, eat with them, dance and drink with them. And our security, starting from the top down, are looking for bandits. Can anybody listen to this? Can anybody think that the country Nigeria is out to sensitize his people? And once in the country we have a, a very big military officer, which was the person of Abacha, who told that any insecurity that exists more than 24 hours, the government is responsible of any insecurity in the land, which I believe there is no insecurity in the land. We know that the government is funding what is happening in the land because the government is busy looking for people who are kidnapping, who are doing this, who are doing this. but we have persons here in the country who they know. You don't need to mention names. Who they know they are eating and dying and wine with you, and I even spoke men of these people. Then what do you want to Stand. They are even giving government the condition and the templates of what they want. Then why are we doing it? There is no security. So what do you think the solutions are to exist? The solution of the country is just simple. Marginalization should be dealt with. If you can deal with marginalization, the concern has been restructured. And the, the, the problem of insecurity is when, let's first of all start what is insecurity. Insecurity can be defined as when the country does not have security. And when you look at the, the aspect of insecurity in Nigeria, it's, it's a thing that is common right now, that is happening right now. When we talk about kidnapping, banditry, and so on and so forth. But the problem now is, where are we heading to? In terms of, for us to get an accurate security.
first of all, we should look at the at the aspect of um, let's start from the paramilitary, from the forces. First of all, you need to equip this this force people, which are which are the armies, the police, and the navy, to put them in place, give them good weapons, so that they will be able to fight insecurity. And insecurity, personally, is, is not for only the the, the paramilitaries; it's for individuals. If 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 like now, if I know who and who who is into crime or into kidnapping. I should be in my own community. I should be able to fish that person out, which we are, which we are not doing here in Nigeria. When you when you talk about that, we are not doing it in Nigeria. Most most of them are are the people that have people at the upper hand. Most of them doing this. Fine, there are those who have people at the upper hand, and you can't get those people and their godfathers or their godsoever. We we want to build them out. Also, try to put the case under the carpet. So the the aspect of it is that when you talk about, as in the security for me, it's, it's security in Nigeria for me for now. We don't have this. I mean, uh, it's tough. But my my fear is that uh, the government should stand up. Why the people should also stand up? Because outside this country. Security is more like everybody's uh, thing. It's not just the government. Alone. Fortunately, here you find out that people just want to leave everything for the government. And I don't think it's, it's abroad. I, if you watch some videos, you see where neighbors like harass suspicious movement around their neighborhoods and all of that. But here you see something going wrong, and you trigger off it on the other side. Waiting for the government to come. So, those petty, petty things you can do, we can do for ourselves. So it's here, government, government, here, government, 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 government. It's it's, uh, it's it's embarrassing. We should stand up for ourselves. Do the minor, minor things we can do in terms of like right now we're talking about security. Let's not even diversify into other areas. Watch your neighbors back. Watch your neighborhood. Watch your surroundings, and then you can then report. Of, I don't want to go deep. Because security matter is a very deep issue. Um, if you ask me, I don't think the government at the top is doing enough. They are pumping so much money, but unfortunately, it's not reflecting. And the things we expect them to do, we are not seeing the results. Although we are seeing their actions, but the results are not coming out. So it's, 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 it's crazy, it's, it's frustrating because uh, I'll be 50 in April next year, so I've seen a lot. I've seen this country going to rescue other countries in the past, you know, and we did so well, got national honors, international honors and all of that. I'm surprised we can't do it for ourselves at this point in time. So it means that um, civilian government and military government are not same i know but i i suspect if we we're under military government this thing would happen that i know but you know civilian government a lot of politics here and there this party is wishing this party not to succeed and all of that so that's my suspicion yeah insecurity is a country actually the situation is very very alarming where we we find ourselves with this visual lack of employment and job insecurity and so forth. This is the reason, this is the most reason that we have insecurity. And I equally believe the West is trying to subvert Nigeria. Because Africa, Nigeria is out of Africa. Where they allow Nigeria to grow, then Africa has grown. They, we, Nigeria will have to liberate ourselves from this security by creating job opportunity for the youth of Nigeria. Wow, insecurity is a, is a big one. Uh, prior to 20, 2009, 2010, Nigeria has nothing to do with wave of insecurity. It was one peaceful country. But from 2010, beginning with the uh, incident happened in Borno State where the leader of that sect, Boko Haram, Mohammed Yusuf, was arrested and subsequently killed, we saw a surge in the rate of insecurity and that is really a sad one for the nation, it's a sad one for everyone.
because now hardly you can see people walking without looking over their shoulders. You know, hardly you can see people sleep all through the night with both eyes closed. Hardly you can see people sleep and they don't respond to sound, strange sound, be it vehicle sound, be it sound from alarm. They just they just wake up, try to be, you know, try to find out what's happening around them. So that is the state at which Nigeria is when it comes to the issue of insecurity. It's a sad one.